Hey guys, Hector here. It's time to answer the question that every Otaku channel should have to answer. Sub or dub? So, let's start off with a quick explanation. I guess you can kind of consider this an Otaku encyclopedia entry. So, sub is short for subtitles, and that's the little words at the bottom of the screen whenever you're watching an anime or a live action movie or whatever. Sometimes it can be the same language as the voices that are speaking on the TV show, movie, whatever. Sometimes it's different. Most of the time, people listen to Japanese audio with English subtitles or whatever language that is their native language. Dub is short for dubbing, and dubbing is like the voiceovers that's on the movie or the TV show or whatever. So most of the time it's in Japanese or whatever and they'll put English audio over it. In anime it usually fits, in live action movies and sometimes CGI movies it looks a little weird because their mouths don't quite fit. So which do I prefer? Personally I like subs over dubs but of course there can be some exceptions. I have seen some shows that have really really great English dubs. A great example is Full Metal Alchemist, the original series because they had some great voice actors, some well-established voice actors, and it was like a real ensemble cast. Of course, when, we, when you went to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, they got rid of some of the voice actors, and it just wasn't the same. You know, there were still some great voice actors on there, but it wasn't a full, full cast of great voice actors, in my personal opinion. So let me explain why I prefer subs over dubs, because like I said, it's all opinion. So first off, I am able to read really, really quickly and then take in the Japanese voices and then kind of mix it in my head so it kind of applies the English language over the Japanese voices while keeping the same emotion from the Japanese voice actors. And I can do that really, really quickly in my head. So, of course, not everybody can do that. So I can understand why some people will prefer dubs over subs. And then some people only prefer dub like in action anime because they want to see all the stuff that's going on and they maybe they can't read very very fast so they can't just keep going back and forth between the action and then the reading and stuff like that so sometimes people prefer dub over action anime and then subtitles for pretty much everything else but like I said I can read really fast and I can process it really fast in my mind that's why I prefer subs over dubs that one reason another reason it's actually a response to the haters for subs because I have heard a lot of haters going against subs because you know there's always people that are like oh subs are always great or dubs are always great or whatever some people that are always bad mouthing subs say something like well the voices are in Japanese so you might not be able to understand them so how do you know if the voice actors are good or not well I think that is a stupid point because video games anime movies whatever usually have to become great enough to then come over to the western countries like the US or other countries in Europe or whatever so the voice actors or the actors whatever are usually so great that you can you can just feel the emotion and the great voice acting and all that stuff like that it's not just oh well maybe somehow the voice acting was so bad but it, they still shipped it to other countries because they thought it would do better in other countries even though it didn't do great in Japan that doesn't really make any sense and I have actually seen some anime that never left Japan, that never got dubbed, never got subbed or anything. It was just fan subs. I've seen some anime and I've seen some anime with some, anime with some bad voice acting. So they, there are some examples out there and you don't even have to understand Japanese to, to really notice that there are some bad voice actors out there. And the number one reason I prefer subs over dubs is the localization process. Of course, it's not always a direct translation from Japanese to English for a number of reasons. Number one reason probably is they have to match the words to the voice flaps so it can fit in there. You can't just keep talking and then the voice or the mouth stops flapping and then you're still talking. You have to fit however however many words in there and Direct translations doesn't always have the same um, syllables, so you got to kind of mix and match in there. So that's one reason for localization. Another reason is some people or some companies expect Westerners might not know what the hell's going on in Japan with like certain foods, certain um, holidays, or whatever. So they just sometimes just get rid of it, and or they don't want to explain it, so they just change it. A great example was in the early Pokemon seasons and the Pokemon. Um, dubbing translations you guys might remember in that one episode where they come across the Mankey they had Onigiri which is like 
a rice ball with some seaweed on it they don't want to explain their rice balls they want they don't want to call it onigiri they just call it jelly donuts for some reason have a donut that always cheers me up pika pika these donuts are great jelly filled are my favorite nothing beats a jelly filled donut so yeah that's an example of an, a localization process where they just don't want to explain that kind of stuff. Don't want to talk about Japanese stuff, so they just kind of explain it some way for the English audiences. And another example, of course, is censorship. And um, I actually ran into this recently because I barely, barely started watching Dragon Ball. I know I'm, I'm super late to the party and everything. Everybody knows about Dragon Ball. Well, I barely started watching it like a week ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, I don't know. I um, watched some of it in, in English and I watched some of it in Japanese and that show is incredibly perverted at least at the start they're always talking about women's panties and stuff like that and they have um, talked about that a little bit in the English dub but they have removed a lot more from the English dub than the original Japanese version they talk a lot dirtier in the original Japanese version and so they usually have to clean it up a bit for the English audience and then in another anime that I've seen called Love Hina, that's another kind of, you know, etchy type show. And so there are a lot of perverted moments. And they, they have kept a lot of perverted moments in it, but they still have cut out some other parts. One example I noticed was um, in the very first episode. So the main character, while well, the main male character meets the main female character, they shake hands and then, well, she's a huge nerd, so she you know freaks out when she sees that that guy has very low test scores so she's like all right get away from me don't touch me your stupidness might rub off on me basically so she tries to let go of his hand she ends up falling and of course her legs are kind of open but it's in the show her legs open but the main character is staring down in there and then she gets up with a you know blushed face and then punches him so when he lands in the English dub, he says something like, So that's what it's like to hold a girl's hand. In the Japanese version with the English subtitles, he says, pink. So I think you can understand where he's coming from when he says pink. So that's also a great reason to watch sub instead of dub because you get the original meanings and translations instead of the whole localization and censorship and all that good stuff. Not really good stuff, bad stuff. Then there are some anime that like to keep the original Japanese names, and then some that like to change it, and then there's some anime that do both. Like Bleach has Zanpakuto, but then they change Shinigami to Soul Reaper, and Inuyasha has the Tetsaiga, but then they change their name to the um, Wind Scar. So sometimes when they keep the Japanese name, English voice actors don't know how to pronounce it, and then they pronounce it really, really lame. And then that's just another reason why I hate dubs in my personal opinion. But then there are some um, names that in, in Japanese, they try and have an English name, but they might spell it differently. Final Fantasy is all about that with Cloud and Squall, and then they had Hope and stuff like that. But in Final Fantasy 13, they had one character named Vanilla, basically. That's how they pronounce it in the Japanese version because I played I played the game with a Japanese audio. They pronounce one character's name like Vanilla. It's spelled, I believe it's V-A-N-I-L-L-E. And in the English version, for some reason, they pronounced it Vanille. I don't know why when all the other characters' were names were like Lightning and Snow and Hope and Fang. And then we have Vanille. Vanille. Huh? My name. And yours? Vanilla. <laughs> so, sometimes localization can get messed up that way. And then another example is in music. Like, there are some animes, like I mentioned Love Hina already, where they have songs in Japanese, but even when they do an English dub, they keep the song in Japanese because they don't want to redub the song Maybe they don't want to try and fix it or mess with it. I don't know exactly why or what's their thoughts behind it. They'll have the entire show in English, but then they'll keep the song in there completely in Japanese. Hey, what in the world is you doing on TV? Enjoy my songs as much as I love singing them.
and then there are other shows that completely change the song or just completely remove it. Like in Final Fantasy 13, again, um, when they were when it was Snow and Sarah, and they're doing that whole fireworks scene, they had this kind of J-pop song in the background. But then in the English version, it just had one of the Final Fantasy 13 themes in the background. And then, like, again, I, I was recently watching Dragon Ball. In some episodes, they have this weird Dragon Ball theme song while, um, like, Master Roshi was explaining the whole origin of Dragon Ball, or the Dragon Balls. But in the English version, there was no songs at all. And then even in Pokemon 2000, in that movie, you know, where the that one female character is playing that little conch shell flute thingy, there are two completely different songs between the English version and the Japanese version. I'm not exactly sure why, since there were no words in that, but they just decided to change that. So that's pretty much all I got to say about sub versus dub. I prefer subs over dubs, but of course there can be e exceptions. And so tell me what you think. Leave a comment below telling me if you prefer subs or you prefer dubs or if there's certain exceptions like only in action anime you'll watch dubs because you don't want to read and look at the action and stuff like that. Or you just don't care. <laughs> just leave me a comment tell me. Maybe I'll leave a poll too. So check the eye on the top right corner, see if there's a poll there and then you'll Maybe option, sub, dub, I don't care, and it depends. Let's try that, that for options. So other than leaving a comment, you can like this video if you liked it or appreciated me doing it or whatever. And subscribe to my channel for more Japanese and otaku related stuff. Sometimes I do vlogs like this. Sometimes I do product reviews, cosplay, whatever. All related to Japanese and otaku stuff. So if you want to see any of that, definitely subscribe because more is going to be coming in the future.